Hey, aloha. Okay, hey, this is Bob again. Okay, yesterday I did a video and I showed you the big jacuzzis from the Prince of Hawaii suites. Weren't they beautiful? Okay, so I said today I was going to come down here and we're going to find these other lava rock showers that were behind the king's bungalows, okay? Uh, the queen's bungalows at this end did not have any lava rock outdoor showers or tubs, but all the kings did. All right, now everything is kind of being moved around. So I am at the other end where the king's cottages were. So I'm gonna do a little wandering. Uh, I see some of them sitting over there. And so we're gonna go from uh, what was bungalow to bungalow, and I'll explain to you a little bit what was Whose was what, and um, you know, a lot of the bungalows are gone now, but I'll figure it all out, don't worry. So we'll, we'll just try it now. We're just gonna wander. Okay, let me switch this camera around. Aloha. Okay, this, this area here, this was called the uh, House in the Palms. And it was a, a bar and a restaurant. And it's also where Grace would have her weekly manager's party for the guests, you know, if you're honeymooning or whatever. Um, she'd invite you and she'd buy the booze and the poo-poos. And this was the original swimming pool. And then they reduced it in size and, and built the new king's pool. Um, so this was the uh, house in the palms. But then we start heading south. And the first thing we would come to once we head south was the um, King's Bungalows, okay? Now, there were five structures in the King's Bungalows. Each structure was two bungalows. So the very first one I'm at here, this was number 50, one, number 50, and uh, it was units 50 and 51. And each one had a lava rock shower and tub in the back of it. Okay, right now, those are not here because they have removed them and put them in storage. Because, hallelujah, again, when they rebuild these bungalows, they're going to be putting these lava rock outdoor showers and tubs back in. Okay, so this was number 50. This was number 51. And then, so then we would come to the next one which was number 52 and number 53. Now they have dug those out, those lava rock showers. Almost all of them came out in one piece, okay? So this is number 52, 53. And then we're coming to 54 and 55. So, right here, right here, here, hand here. Okay, this is number 54. Now, number 55 was next to it. If you ever watched a movie made at Coco Palms, called Death Moon. Awful. Horrible. The worst movie you'll ever see in your life. But almost that entire film was shot here. And in it, they used number 55. And in the movie, the star of it turns into a werewolf. And 55 was his bungalow, okay? Okay, the next bungalow was number 
56. All right. This, of course, was Elvis's bungalow. Sadly, and very sadly, quite a few years ago, a big machine was going through here, clearing out vegetation. It ran into Elvis's lava rock shower. And I've got a bunch of pictures of that. I'll, I'll find them and I'll put them in the, this video. Ran into his shower, knocked it over, just knocked it into pieces. So sadly, it is no longer together. But, so that was number 56. Number 57 was attached to Elvis's bungalow. And there is its lava rock shower. Now, these others, they pulled them out and they put them in storage because they're going to re reuse them again. Um, okay. Let me check behind this one. I don't know why it's sitting here because I don't think it came from here. Yeah, it did. This, okay, this, this is 57. Okay. So, you can see it's all in one piece, and it will be used when the new bungalow is built. Okay. All right. This one right here. Now we're at bungalows 58 and 59. Something very special, especially about 59. Okay, so this is the outdoor lava rock shower and tub. See, they had tubs too. This is from 58. Obviously, of course, was next door to 57. Now, okay, so it came up from behind 58. It was just recently moved from there to here, and it'll be taken to... Um, storage. This is 58 and this is 59 next to it. Now you can see they're starting to lay the groundwork for the bungalows. Put in all the rebar. These bungalows to meet the FEMA flood code are going to be built eight feet higher. All these bungalows. That's why you see all this uh, rebar here, because they'll be layering a, a, a laying a cement foundation. Okay, so this is 58. And then right next to it, back there, and you'll see number 59. They're going to be hauling it out of here soon and put it in storage. This is really famous, because if you've ever watched Blue Hawaii, there are three different scenes with Elvis and then uh, three other actresses that would film in a bungalow. Now, supposedly those bungalows are three different bungalows. Nope, nada. In Blue Hawaii, any scene that was filmed in a bungalow was Bungalow 59. So right here, this was the lava rock shower and tub in number 59. Now what's, what's interesting here? Even though this one was the one behind 59, you see a scene where three of the, the girls come in and are, are bugging Elvis in his bungalow, okay? And then um, the chaperone shows up and all three girls go running out the back door of the bungalow and they hide behind the shower. Now this shower is not wide enough to hide three girls trying to stand behind it. So, 
the studio built a little bigger set to, to look like this shower, only it was a little bit wider. So it would hide all three girls. But under that wooden set was this real shower. So this is really the one that was in the movie uh, Blue Hawaii. And then finally all three girls, they get scared and they go running down this sidewalk here. And uh, Miley, Elvis's girlfriend, she comes down the um, sidewalk and she's looking the, through the window and she sees Miss Prentice, the chaperone, give Elvis a kiss. And, oh, she gets all upset and goes running back down the, the sidewalk. So this was 59 seen quite a bit in Blue Hawaii, okay? Okay, I'm gonna walk down to the other end and show you where the Queen's cottages were. Now, really not used in any movies, but famous people stayed there. So we'll go down there, we'll look at those. Uh, I'll point out a couple of them, who stayed where? Okay, along here were the Queen's Cottages. Um, I frankly, I, I really didn't know the cottage numbers of the Queen's because they weren't that famous. I do know that in this first one, which was sitting right here, South Pacific was filmed on Kau Kauai. They first got here in 1956. Mitzigator, the star of South Pacific, stayed in this first bungalow. Mitzi brought so many clothes with her, there wasn't enough room in this bungalow to put all her clothes. So Grace built a small addition to this bungalow to hold Mitzi's clothes. So, and they were here for a couple months at uh, Coco Palms. So this was where Mitzi Gaynor stayed while they were filming South Pacific. And then in the Queen's Cottages, there were four structures. Each one, like the other end, were two cottages. So there were only um, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Anyway, only eight Queen's Cottages. But the other one I want to talk about is down here at the other end. And if you guys are Gilligan's Island fans, well, you'll know this guy. Every time he came to Coco Palms, he stayed here in the last bungalow. And that, of course, was Bob Denver, Gilligan, and um, my late wife and I knew both Bob and his, uh, his widow, Dreama. They loved Kauai. They stayed on Kauai a lot. So this was Bob Denver's, and that, of course, was right next to the chapel there. So, okay, so that was these bungalows, but the Queen's Cottages did not have any uh, outdoor showers. No. Okay, there's a dirt over there. They're still digging up in uh, the Ali'i uh, Ali one building, the fish wing. Still digging away. So I'm filming everything with my iPhone today. Um, just because my my drone has drowned. It, no rescue attempts could be made. Oh. So so we've talked about the King's Cottages and the, uh, the um, tubs and the rock, the lava rock and stuff. And they're all going to go back using the same lava rock tubs, just like for the Prince of Hawaii suites. They have pulled out all those intact as they were in the ground, 
and we'll be putting them back in the ground when they build those new bungalows. Um, some of those, uh, the King's cottages have been moved somewhere. I'm going to go sneak around now and see if I can find them. Okay. Aloha.